Hello, Slavin Universe, it's Xander, and welcome to WWE 2K24 Universe Mode. Welcome to the Raw before WrestleMania. The final Raw of Season 5. We are starting things off with the number one contender to the WWE Women's World Championship. We are starting things off with Rhea Ripley in some singles action. Mommy of the Judgment Day. Making her way down to the ring. Rhea Ripley challenges Roxanne Perez on WrestleMania Night 2 this weekend for that Women's World Championship. So Rhea Ripley tonight looks to get a little bit of revenge. Looks to get a little bit of uh, momentum on her side. Because in this opening contest tonight, Rhea Ripley is going head-to-head -head with the first woman that ever defeated her in the LS11 universe. So Rhea Ripley storming down to the ring. She is always on top is what she says. As now Rhea has made her way down to the ring. And Rhea tonight goes head to head with the former SmackDown Women's Champion. Former NXT Women's Champion as well. Here comes Candice LeRae to the ring. We know that her her protege, the woman she's been the one she's been mentoring for quite some time, Indy Hartwell, is heading to WrestleMania to be in the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match, but now tonight, LeRae looks to take on Rhea Ripley once again. And for the history lesson, for those of you who do not know about it, because, I mean, it was four years ago, so I don't believe everyone, not, there's over 4,000 people in our audience now. We had barely hit 100 subscribers by the time we did WrestleMania Season 1. So there's well over 3,900 3, more of you now. As it is Rhea Ripley and Candice LeRae back in NXT. Candice LeRae was the first woman to ever defeat Rhea Ripley in the LS11 universe when she beat her for the NXT Women's Championship at NXT TakeOver New York, the season finale of season one for NXT. Back when we were, let me put this in, in retrospective for you, back when we were only doing Raw, NXT, and SmackDown on this channel. AEW wasn't here yet. We hadn't done TNA. Ring of Honor New Japan were never thoughts in our minds. As Candice LeRae sends Rhea Ripley into the corner. Big clothesline. Snapmare takes her down. And jumping neck breaker. And how far both of these women have come in the five, in the four years since that night. Rhea throws LeRae into the corner. Rhea Ripley. Right up connects. And again, Rhea grabs onto her. And forearm strike. Knocking her down. Rhea Ripley. Hitting the ropes, and puts the boots to LeRae. Candice LeRae goes down now. Rhea Ripley, getting her back up to her feet here. Rhea with an elbow strike, knocks her back. Candice LeRae now turns her with a right hook, firing back. Goes into Wheelbarrow Bulldog, taking her down. Rhea Ripley goes down now. LeRae grabs a hold of her now, and Rhea Ripley being taken towards the corner, or putting the ropes by LeRae. Candice LeRae with a kick. Grabs onto her now, and Candice LeRae, kick to the head. Sends Rhea Ripley over the top rope. LeRae, here we go. Hurricane Rana to the outside. And Candice LeRae getting fired up after that one. Gotta imagine good things will happen to Candice LeRae if she could somehow knock off Rhea Ripley tonight. LeRae was the better woman back in New York four years ago. But Rhea Ripley, these last several years, has just been on a different level as she headbutts the holy hell out of Candice LeRae. Rhea Ripley now sending LeRae back into the ring. Rhea Ripley follows back after her now, and Rhea Ripley, right hook turns her around. Rhea's got LeRae up on her shoulders. Rhea Ripley with Candice LeRae. Electric chair drives her into the mat. And now Rhea picking her back up to her feet here. Rhea Ripley. With Candice LeRae, clothesline, picking her back up, hits her again, 
Picks her up again, and into drop kick, taking her down. Larray back to her feet now. Larray with a clothesline. Candice Larray with another one. Candice Larray now. Drop kick to Rhea Ripley, taking her down. Into a cover now. Rhea Ripley's down. Candice Larray kick out from Rhea, not even one. Larray grabs a hold of her now, and Candice Larray with Rhea Ripley sidewalk slam, taking her down. Candace, Roxanne Perez, you got to think she's watching this one closely. She's got to be looking for strategies Larray might use to beat Rhea because Candace Larray and Roxanne Perez, very similar sized competitors, especially when compared to Rhea Ripley, who is one of the bigger and more dominant competitors we've seen in the women's division here on Monday Night Raw. And in Ellis Lynn in general. As Rhea pulls herself up to the corner, here comes Candace Larray. No! Rhea with the counter. Rhea Ripley kicks her in the head. Rhea getting her back up to her feet now, and Rhea. Pulls her in, clothesline, lifts her back up, into another. Rhea Ripley's got her again for a third, and drop kick, taking down LeRae. Rhea Ripley picks her back up to her feet, turns her around again, and Rhea, no, LeRae counters. LeRae taking her down, and Candice LeRae grabs Rhea, swings her over, turns her over into Wicked Stepmother. Grabs Rhea, turns her over now. Candice LeRae into a cover on Rhea Ripley, who again kicks out like it's nothing. There's a kick in the head from Rhea. She grabs LeRae back to her feet, and Rhea Ripley goes for a kick. LeRae finds the counter again. Candice LeRae just continuously finding the counter to Rhea Ripley. Knocks her into the corner. No! Rhea with knees into the back, and Rhea, no! Caught by LeRae! Candice LeRae turns it into Gargano Escape! Gargano escape in on Rhea Ripley. Is LeRae going to make Rhea tap? No, Rhea Ripley fighting out of it. Punches her in the face. Into a super kick. Grabs a hold of her now and Rhea Ripley. Kick to the ribs of LeRae. Pulls her in. Rhea with Riptide. A Riptide connects to Candice LeRae. Rhea Ripley. Picking her back up to her feet now and Rhea turns her around. Lifts her back up on her shoulders. Rhea Ripley with the electric chair again. Candice LeRae goes down. Rhea Ripley grabs onto Mrs. Wrestling and into Prism Lock. Prism Lock in. That's it. Rhea Ripley picking up the victory. Ripley knocking off Candice LeRae in our opening contest. And that is only our first matchup here on the final Raw of Season 5. Big win for Rhea. And here we go. Here comes the Women's World Champion Roxanne Perez. Taking down Rhea Ripley. Rhea and Roxanne getting right back into it. These two have been brawling non-stop for months now. As Rhea Ripley, whoa, wait a minute, Roxy, dumps her out of the ring, and Roxanne Perez laying Rhea out on the outside, and Roxanne Perez taking down Rhea. And up on the up on the ramp, Finn Balor and Damian Priest are brawling. Of course, Balor, former member of Judgment Day, Priest, and Balor, former tag champions, as well as Balor. Picks Priest up on his shoulders and Finn Balor taking down Damian Priest. And Finn drum kicks him, but Priest tries to choke slam him on the floor and Balor dropping Priest. I am just five days away. From entering the Money in the Bank ladder match at WrestleMania. Five days from climbing the ladder and taking the briefcase. And I look at everyone else in that matchup. And I see who's in there. I've got a best friend in there with Sami Zayn. I've got a guy I can't stand in there with Drew McIntyre. I got Bobby Lashley in there. He's alright. Baron Corbin. He's not as bad anymore. He's not as insufferable anymore since he stopped wearing the stupid shirts. I look in there and there's... Scumbags like Andrade in there. 
And I look at everyone in there and I think, I'm going to stun all of them. I'm going to stun each and every one of them. And I'm going to grab that briefcase. And you know what I'm going to do? I may not be going to the main event of WrestleMania to fight Gunther, to fight Dominic. But I am walking out of WrestleMania making damn sure that we don't have another situation like last year. We don't see another situation like last year where a tyrant like Gunther or Cody Rhodes or even Dirty Dom walks out as champion. But you have my word. Since Johnny Gargano is one of my best friends, if he beats Gunther, I won't cash in on him at WrestleMania. All right, up next on Raw, we have some singles action between two of the women who are in the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match this weekend. That's going to be taking place on night two of WrestleMania. You want to know what matches are on night one and what matches are on night two? You can check our Twitter, or X, I guess, but no, it's Twitter, let's be real, at LS11 underscore universe, where I have, at this point, posted graphics that show which matches are on which night for WrestleMania. So that everyone has a full idea of what they can expect, all the chaos they can expect on each night. And out first, it is the hot mess, Chelsea Green, on her way down to the rig. Chelsea Green with Robert Stone in her corner. Recruited Stone to be her manager a few weeks ago. Which helped her get into... She did help her get into this ladder match. And so Chelsea Green tonight is going head-to-head -head with a potential favorite. For the entire thing, as here comes... Charlotte Blair. Charlotte Blair heading down to the ring, ready for action. Blair was inserted into this matchup by the Raw GM Big E. Both general managers handpicked a couple of entries for both the men's and women's ladder matches, and Charlotte was one of the ones that Big E hand-selected while... Chelsea Green was one of the ones that had to qualify. So, Charlotte's made her way to the ring. Charlotte and Chelsea, one-on-one. -on -one. Without any further ado, here we go. Chelsea Green coming in, and oh, immediately taking down Charlotte by the hair. Imagine if Chelsea could pull off an upset like this. She slapped Charlotte in the face. Chelsea knocking her back. Chelsea, come on the ropes. Into a wicked elbow strike there from Flair. Charlotte Flair grabs a hold of her now. And Charlotte with Chelsea into the corner. Charlotte Flair grabs onto her now. And Charlotte ties the leg up. And kicks the, uh, the rope into the leg of Green. Chelsea staggers. Big chop now. Charlotte knocking her back. Charlotte Flair, no. Chelsea counters now. And Chelsea kicks her in the ribs. And again, Charlotte Flair goes for a kick. Does Chelsea. Chelsea Green's caught now. And Charlotte... Put the ropes by Ch puts Chelsea in the ropes now, and Charlotte takes her down. Charlotte Flair stomps the chest of Chelsea Green. Green goes down now. Charlotte kicks her down. Charlotte. Chelsea goes up to the bottom rope now. Chelsea Green on herself up on the apron now. Chelsea Green on the apron now. Charlotte grabs onto her. Oh, and a stunner in the ropes takes her down. Out of the ring goes Green now, and Charlotte Flair. Goes for a slap. Chelsea counters. Chelsea Green kicks her in the head. Grabs a hold of her now. Does Chelsea Green. She gets Charlotte back to her feet. Chelsea Green. Back by Flair. Charlotte Flair. Gets a hold of her. Gets her up. And body slam. Takes her down. Goes for a kick. Chelsea. Spear by Flair. Charlotte Flair with the spear. Reverie at the count of five. Chelsea Green being taken back towards the ring. Back into the ring goes Green. 
Chelsea is down. Charlotte coming back in. Charlotte Flair kicks her in the leg. Rolling Chelsea over. Hooks the leg. Charlotte. One. Two. Kick out from Green. Charlotte lets out a woo as she circles Green. Charlotte Flair picks her up now. And Charlotte has a hold of Chelsea. But Chelsea Green answering back with some elbows. Green knocking back Flair now. Charlotte Flair knocked back. Chelsea Green. Forearm strike. Kicks her in the ribs. Chelsea's got her. And Chelsea with Flair for Canadian Destroyer. Taking her down. Into a cover now. Chelsea cover on Flair. Chelsea Green for the one. Two. No. Charlotte kicked out. Charlotte Flair still alive. Chelsea picking away at her repeatedly now. Chelsea Green's got her down. Flair back to her feet. Oh, and a chop block to Chelsea Green. Charlotte Flair now dragging her. Back towards the center of the ring, and Charlotte goes for the legs. Chelsea pushes her away now. Chelsea Green pushing Charlotte away. Chelsea, whoa, sidesteps the chop block. Green grabs Flair, backslide, taking her down. Chelsea, one, no. Flair kicks out. And spear. Wait a minute, Chelsea rolls her through again. Cover on Flair. Chelsea Green, no, again, Charlotte kicks out. Not even a one count. And Flair kicked out. Chelsea Green grabs onto her and forearm strike. Putting the boots to her again now is Chelsea Green. She's got Charlotte down. Chelsea taking away at her. Charlotte with a chomp into natural selection. Chelsea is down. Charlotte for the one, for the two, three. Easy as that for Flair. Chelsea tried her damnedest, but Charlotte just able to kick out of all the attempted roll-ups and everything else. And that leads to a Flair victory. Could Charlotte win the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match? Let's see Charlotte Flair has made her way has made her way to a victory tonight. Charlotte with the win. We got more coming up right now on Raw. All right. Well, it is time for a big contract signing. As here is the mega star, the fan favorite. Here is L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight. That was not intentional. Makes his way down to the ring. Ready for this contract signing for this big dream matchup at WrestleMania. A clash of titans at WrestleMania. The battle for the People's Championship. So L.A. Knight is here. Here he is, the people's champion. The most electrifying man in all of wrestling. The Rock. People's champ making his way down. These people getting their photos as Rock. Walking around the ring, people's title in hand. So, let's have ourselves a contract signing. What more is there to say that has not been said between us yet? You know, I can think of a few things, but it doesn't matter what you can think of. It doesn't matter what you think hasn't been said between you and The Rock, L.A. Knight. Because the truth of the matter is, 
At the end of the day, you are nothing more than a knockoff of The Rock, a knockoff of Steve Austin. You are nothing more than a walking throwback. You got all the potential in the world. And you choose to squander it, picking a fight with the final boss. A fight you can't win. A fight for the People's Championship. Well, let me talk to you. Everyone talks about how I'm a walking throwback, how I'm just a knockoff of you, a knockoff of Stone Cold Steve Austin. And where do you get that from? My, uh, my voice? My inflection? You two don't own the rights to having charisma in this ring. Last I checked, these people are saying L.A. Knight a whole lot more than they're saying Rocky, Rocky lately. I think you're on a bit of a rocky road yourself, people's chump. So, you want to ask why I want to pick a fight with the final boss? Well, there's a million and one reasons why I want to pick a fight with the final boss, and that is, first of all, to remind you, you don't get to just walk around here and do whatever you want. No, no! You don't get to just walk around here and cost me the main event of WrestleMania. No, no! You don't get to just walk around here and act like you own the place. Because you're on the board. You're on the board. You're not at the head of the board. You ain't the head of the table. You're just one of the many seats. And you say that there's nothing left for us to talk about. But yet, you're going to sit here and you're going to talk about the way I look. Talk about the way I dress. Well, we could talk all day about your cheap little Goodwill thrift store spray painted vest. We could talk all day about those Dollar store knockoff, boot like sunglasses. We could talk all day about your arts and crafts championship right there. Oh, no, no, no. This was a gift from Muhammad Ali. To the, yeah, yeah, whatever. Muhammad Ali ain't around. So you just made that up because you wanted to make it seem like he was passing it on to you. But he ain't been around for a long time. And let me tell you something, Rocky. He didn't give a damn about you being the people's champion. We want to take the low in fruits. Let's play the Rocks game for a minute, shall we? Everybody indulge the Mega Star for a minute. Let's play the Rocks game. You're bald. Yeah. I can see my reflection in your forehead. Yeah. And at the end of the day, you're just a Hollywood reject. Hell, I could tell this half of the order to say Hollywood and this half to say reject. I'd get a way louder reception than you ever get for all the crap you try and say. Your day one douchebags, your Rudy Poo, whatever, your candy ass, this, if you smell that. You call me a walking throwback, but last I checked, you haven't gotten new material in over 15 years, Rock. Highest paid actor in the world, and you can't come up with more than two lines. That's Rich coming from Mr. Yeah, nah, nah, and let me talk to you. Well, here's the thing. I can say a whole lot more than that, and I have been. And the fact that you haven't said anything other than the same two or three insults and the same two or three clapbacks this entire time tells me that you are out of things to say. It tells me that I have beat you at your own game, Rock, and it tells me that at WrestleMania, you know damn well that your days of calling yourself the People's Champ are over. So how about you sign your name on this damn contract, and we get this over and done with. You want the signing over with? Well, let's end it. Oh, an LA Knight. And here we go. Knight and The Rock. We all knew how a contract signing with these two was going to end. An LA Knight. L.A. Knight with the rock back to his feet. And L.A. Knight. Whoa. Rock. Bottom. And the rock. 
Look at that layout, LA Knight before WrestleMania. No! LA Knight scoops him up at night. Through the table! Wait a minute. And Knight with the Mega Stars elbow! LA Knight sends the rock through the table, hits him with the Mega Stars elbow, and LA Knight gets the last laugh over the People's Champ on the road to WrestleMania. And LA Knight leaving Rock laying there. Hey, you got a problem with what I did out there to your boy, to your cousin, the People's Chump? Nah, man. Good. You do best not to worry about what's going on between your cousin and LA Knight. Because you've still got me to deal with on Sunday, you know. Yeah. Trust me, I ain't forgot about you. Don't worry, little bro. I'm taking that U.S. title. Wait, now hang on a minute. Don't think I'm done with you either now, pity boy. Don't think I forgot that his cousin over there is the only reason I didn't beat you for that U.S. title a few months ago. Just because I've been dealing with the people's chump. Doesn't mean that I've forgotten about you, so whenever I am done with The Rock at WrestleMania, when I have become the people's champion, and I take care of his little arts and crafts belt, then I'm coming for you, I'm coming for Yeet Boy over there, and I am taking that U.S. title once again. Yeah. Alright, well we move on to our next matchup of the night here on Raw. As it is a battle between one half of the champions and one half of the challengers for WrestleMania's World Tag Team title match. Out first, the World Tag Team Champions Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser on their way to the ring. Kaiser and Vinci ready for action, ready for a fight tonight. They've got their biggest title defense I think they've ever had to deal with. Coming up at WrestleMania this weekend when they have to take on the Wyatt Six. So Kaiser and Vinci making their way to the ring. Kaiser in some singles action tonight. And here come their opponents. Here come the Wyatt Six. Eric Rowan and Braun Strowman making their way to the ring. Braun Strowman in singles action here tonight to uh, break the fourth wall and answer the question for a minute. I can't tell you, and I won't tell you, if we're going to change the group at all based on what happened on Monday. Last week. Because that would be a spoiler. And we don't do that. Rowan, Strowman, and Halliday made their return at Elimination Chamber a few weeks ago. And Strowan, Strowman and Rowan immediately set their sights on the World Tag Team titles. And so Howdy sends Strowman in to do his bidding tonight. Sends Strowman in for the fight. So does Ludwig Kaiser and Braun Strowman. Ludwig Run. Braun Strowman going into the head. Braun slamming him down by the hand now, and Braun Strowman. Oh, Ludwig kicks him in the head. Kaiser knocking back Strowman. Kaiser managing to get Strowman reeling here. 
Ludwig Kaiser knocking Strowman back with some elbows. And Kaiser Snapmare stomps the head of the monster. Braun goes down now and Kaiser. No, went for an elbow. Strowman out of the way. Strowman goes for a kick. Kaiser grabs a hold of him now. And Ludwig Kaiser going for the elbows again. Kaiser knocking back Strowman. And again knocks him back. Now Kaiser taken down with a shoulder block. Strowman grabs a hold of him now. Braun Strowman takes him back to his feet. Uppercut connects. Kicks him in the ribs. Braun takes him down with a right hook. Gets him back to his feet. Braun grabs Ludwig now. And Ludwig Kaiser throws him into the corner. Goes for a clothesline. Braun counters. Braun taking him down. And Braun Strowman grabs Kaiser and launches him. And Strowman, hang on a minute. Kaiser getting back into the ring. And here comes Ludwig Kaiser. Braun Strowman tries to grab him. And Kaiser. Oh, what a spine buster from Strowman. Now Braun grabs onto him. Braun Strowman scoops up Kaiser. And Braun power slam for the one Two, three. Easy win for Braun. Braun Strowman dispatches of Ludwig Kaiser in just a matter of moments. And the Wyatt Six standing tall again. Big victory there for Braun heading into WrestleMania. Devaney Stratton and AJ Lee face to face. Coming up next. All right, it is time for the face to face. And this time, AJ Lee has promised she will not walk away. She will let Devaney Stratton say exactly what she wants to say. As the Divas Champion makes her way to the ring, Tiffany Stratton. The Diva of Tomorrow, the Divas Champion. She finally goes head to head with the last task, the last challenge in her way when she goes to Wrestlemania in just a few nights time. So Stratton, she has beat every woman that has had that Divas title except one. And the one left is the one she goes face to face with tonight on Raw. As here she is, a bit of a living legend, if you will. AJ Lee heading down to the ring. So AJ Lee skips down to the ring. Lee and Stratton face to face on the Raw before WrestleMania. All right, Tiffany, I'm anything if a woman of my word. So say what you need to say. I'm all ears. It's been a year since I got here to Monday Night Raw. When I got here, I made the statement that I was the one and only diva of tomorrow. I turned heads and I kicked ass. I've been on an undefeated streak that rivals any woman in the history of this company. I crowned myself champion because nobody else would after I was wrongly cheated out of the gold at Night of Champions last year. In that time, I beat some of the greatest of your generation. I beat the greatest to ever hold this title. You name them and I beat them. Paige, Mickey James, Charlotte, Nikki Bella, Melina, Michelle McCool. I beat every single one of them and the entire time, do you know what people said? Nobody said that Tiffany Stratton is the next top woman in wrestling. Nobody said Tiffany should get a shot at the world championship. No. All anybody ever said was, she can't beat AJ Lee. And that whole time you sat at home watching and hearing everybody say that, and you refused to come here and face me. Well, now that you're here, I'm giving you the retirement you never got. You say your back can only do one more match? Well, I'm going to make sure that's the case. 
In five nights, you'll look at the lights and you'll know once and for all that Tiffany Stratton is better than every woman in this company that came before her. And all you're going to be remembered as is CM Punk's wife. Atta girl, there's that killer instinct I told you to find back at Elimination Chamber. But now that you've said what you need to say, my turn. I sat at home and I watched you grow and evolved after you showed up here last year. And when I saw you pull that stupid butterfly belt out of the trash and start parading around with it like it meant something, I knew that one by one, everyone who came before me was going to try and stop you. I watched Beth Phoenix try and fail. She was always the most powerful of us, but I knew you'd outsmart her. Then there was Nikki, the pretty face with no brains, a lot like you, actually. I knew you'd exploit her neck for the win. Even one of the greatest of all time, like Charlotte, couldn't hold a candle to your underhanded tactics. But here's one thing that separates me from them, Barbie girl. I stayed home and watched because I needed to see how complacent you would get first. And I wanted to come back at the moment that would ruin you most. That's why I entered the Royal Rumble and sent you crashing to the floor. You see, Tiffany, you may be stronger, faster, more athletic, and in some cases even more gifted in the ring than most of the women that came before you with that title. But you're not smarter than me. You're not willing to go to the levels that I am. I manipulated John Cena into thinking I loved him just to mess with him. I kissed Daniel Bryan and cost him his world championship just for fun. Chaos is the name of the game with me. I wrote a whole book about crazy being my superpower. I like to drive people crazy. And now that I've done that to you, your little undefeated streak is gonna snap on Sunday. But I'll tell you what, go ahead and take the first swing tonight on me. Let's, is Tiffany gonna, oh, she's gonna. She went for the swing. Tiffany tried to take down AJ Lee and AJ Lee. Oh my God. Black Widow. AJ Lee logging Tiffany Stratton and a Black Widow and Tiffany immediately started flailing. AJ Lee laying out the Divas Champion before WrestleMania. Could AJ Lee actually do the unthinkable this Sunday? WrestleMania, I walk into the Money in the Bank ladder match. I like to do something I've never done in my career. I've done a lot in my career around here. I've been a United States champion before. I've been at WrestleMania. I have done many things. What I have never done is win the WWE or World Heavyweight Championship. And at WrestleMania, I get a chance to climb the ladder, take the briefcase, and do just that. And just that is what I want to do. Just that is what I need to do. WrestleMania. I'm going to dominate the competition. And I'm taking home money in the bank. Alright, we've got a six-man tag team matchup coming up next here on Raw. Second to last matchup of the evening before a big one-on-one -on -one main event where Johnny Organo is going to go head-to-head. -head with Bronson Reed out first, the later the leader of Chase U. Andre Chase heading down to the ring. So the Dean of Chase U teams up tonight with his number one student. Hit the music again, I guess. Here comes Duke Hudson to the ring. Look, I'm just saying, you know, someone could very easily design a Heritage Cup model and mod it over that trophy. I'm just saying, look, I'm just saying, just throwing out an idea to any modders who might be watching this. I'm not saying me, because I'm like, I don't have the skills for that. But Duke Hudson makes his way down to the ring. And they team up tonight with the man who's going to be kicking off WrestleMania on the night one kickoff show. The dealer of hard justice. That's right, Justice Dijack. A Dijack, Hijack, heading to Monday Night Raw. Dijack. 
Dijak makes his way down to the ring. Dijak, he will go in head-to-head -head with The Miz on WrestleMania Night 1's kickoff show with the WrestleMania host, Sylvester Stallone, as the special guest referee in that matchup. Dijak has made his way to the ring. He teams up with Chase U tonight, and they are going head-to-head -head first up with Dijak's WrestleMania opponent. Here comes the Miz, the man who the man who tried to be the WrestleMania host, but was uh, very sorely mistaken and ended up getting knocked out by Sly Stallone. So the Miz, former United States champion, former tag team champion, heading down to the ring. Out next. Truth is here. And finally, the man who goes after the speed championship on night two kickoff. The Nigerian giant, the Miz, is bodyguard. Omos. Omos storming down to the ring. Could be on the verge of his first ever championship victory. So, Dijak and Chase U against Miz, Omos, and R-Truth. In some six-man tag action as Miz kicks Andre Chase in the head. Close line, taking him down. Now Miz comes in. Hurricane Rana to, to Andre Chase. Andre Chase back to his feet, though, and jumping neckbreaker to Miz. Chase gets him back up to his feet, goes for a super kick. Miz out of the way, goes for a drop kick. Chase grabs onto him, countered by Miz. And Miz jabbing away at Andre Chase now. Miz knocks him back. Tag is made to R-Truth. And there's a kick from Andre Chase. Chase kicks him in the back now, and Andre Chase grabs R Truth. R Truth with a kick in the head, taking him down. Truth putting the boots to Andre Chase now, and Chase comes in, kicks R Truth in the head. Truth is down, rolled over. Chase with a drop of the fist on the head of R Truth. Truth trying to get back to his feet now. Chase scoops him up and drops him with a reverse DDT. Truth goes down now. Andre Chase grabs onto him, pulls him in, and Andre Chase kicks him in the head. Tag made to Duke. Duke Hudson enters the mix now. Now Andre Chase grabs onto R Truth, and Duke Hudson now. Oh, Andre Chase kicked in the head by Truth. Duke Hudson throws R Truth into the referee, grabs onto him now, and Duke sweeps the leg. Duke Hudson now grabs him for a DDT. Taking him down. Duke now goes into the corner. Tag is made to Dijak. Dijak now coming in. Dijak 
Knee to the face of R-Truth, taking him down. Dijak now covers R-Truth. One, two, no, Truth kicks out. Dijak takes a shot at Omos and goes after Miz now. R-Truth. Takes a swipe at Dijak. Dijak knocks back by... Oh, Dijak taking down Omos. Truth coming off the ropes now, and our truth Sidestep, and again. Sidesteps him again, and our truth Just dancing in the face of Dijak, and Dijak's caught off guard. Truth rolls him through now. Our truth cover on Dijak. No, Dijak kicks out. And Truth went for a dive. Nobody home, and Dijak going after Omos again. Getting knocked back now. Truth back into the ring now, and our truth Oh, Dijak going through his wrestle, his WrestleMania kickoff opponent. Truth with a tag to Omos now. Omos enters the mix, and Omos shoves back Dijak. Omos runs at him, but Dijak puts him in the corner. Dijak strike to Omos, and again, Omos goes down now. Dijak's got him down. Dijak managing to fell the redwood there. Grabs the legs and Dijak. Stomp to the ribs of Omos, taking him down. Grabs onto him now and Dijak pulls in our truth. Dijak. Dropping our truth. Omos back to his feet now and Omos. Dijak taking him down. Dijak is soloing this matchup right now for his team. As he's got a hold of Omos and he kicks him in the head. Omos goes down. Omos staggering, trying to get back to his feet now and Dijak. Has him by the back of the head. Omos counters. Omos knocking him back now. And Omos. Oh, avoids the boot. Uppercut to Dijak. Taking him down. Double tag. Miz and Andre Chase back in. You're right back where we started. As there's a boot from Andre Chase. He grabs onto Miz now. And Andre Chase goes for a kick. Miz kicks out the leg now. And Miz. Here we go. And roundhouse kick from the Miz. Miz getting Andre Chase back to his feet. Takes a shot at Dijak. Kicks Andre Chase in the ribs. R-Truth taking out Duke Hudson. And Miz takes a cheap shot on Dijak. Dijak goes down and Miz taking down Andre Chase. Miz into figure four leg block on, on Andre Chase. Is Miz about to tap him out with a figure four here? As Omos runs back into the ring. Miz has got that figure four in on Andre Chase. Andre Chase is holding on, but Miz lets it go. I think Miz could feel his grip slipping. There's just an all-out brawl going on the outside now. R-Truth's caught by Dijak, and Dijak taking down Truth. Knee to the face from Duke Hudson. Miz going outside the ring now. It is an oh, Dijak wiping out Omos. Down goes Duke. Dijak grabs onto Omos. Dijak wiping out Omos. Miz taking down. Taking down Dijak. Miz back into the ring now. Seven count. Our truth. Is anything in here? Eight count. Chase, what are you doing? Nine count. Chase back into the ring. Miz taking him down. As Omos has got a hold of Dijak. Omos taking down Dijak. Andre Chase knocking back Miz now. And Chase with Miz off the ropes. Andre Chase. Neck breaker to Miz. Tag is made to Dijak. Tag is made to R-Truth. Dijak's got R-Truth up on his shoulders for... Feast your eyes! Cover! One, no, Miz with the save. Dijak turning his attention to Miz now, knocking him back. Super kick takes him down. Dijak, kick to the back of R-Truth. Tag to Duke. Tag to Omos. 
As Omos. Oh, big clothesline there to Duke. And down go Chase and... Omos now with Duke. Pulls him in. Tree slam. Cover. One, two, three. And Omos, Miz, and R Truth pick up the victory in just that mosh pit of a match. Ultimately, Duke Hudson gets sent for the ride. Miz, Omos, and Dijak with the win. Our main event. Johnny Gargano and Bronson Reed is coming up next. Look, I'm more than anything shocked you decided to meet me out here, but you can look around and you can see I asked you to meet me in a place where there was no one around. No fear of getting jumped from behind. You can see there's no one around us on any side. Fun, then go ahead and see what you're going to say. It wasn't supposed to be personal, John. Sure it wasn't. Never is with you, is it? There's always some reason why it's not your fault what's going on. I'll tell you what, AJ. If you win at WrestleMania, you're the better man. But if you win with help, Gallows and Anderson, no one's ever letting you live it down. That's all I've got for you before WrestleMania. I'll see you there. All right, this is it. The final Raw match before WrestleMania. As here comes the former United States champion. Here comes the Australian monster. Here is the colossal Bronson Reed heading down to the ring. Bronson Reed storming down to the ring, ready for action. Ready for a battle here tonight. Ready to go one-on-one -on -one with the man who's going to wrestle main event WrestleMania night one in just a few nights time. Bronson Reed has made his way down to the ring. He's ready for the main event. As here comes his opponent. The man who challenges Gunther in the main event of WrestleMania Night 1 for the gold. Johnny Gargano. Johnny Wrestling. A chance to come into the main event. Main event of WrestleMania Night 1, a chance to become the WWE Champion. His third and likely final match with Gunther for the WWE Championship. He's challenged unsuccessfully twice. Will this time be different? So Gargano has made his way to the ring. It is our main event of Raw, the final main event of Raw before WrestleMania, as I've said. Gargano, Bronson, here we go. Johnny comes in, Bronson Reed grabs him, Bronson Reed scoops up Gargano. Reed taking Johnny Gargano towards the corner, and stun gun into the corner, taking him down. Bronson goes out of the ring, what's Bronson doing here? Back in, Gargano coming off the ropes, and Gargano! Close lines, but Bronson's not moving, Gargano as for a springboard, Bronson's out of the way. Kick from Bronson Reed. Reed grabs a hold of him now, picking him back up to his feet. Bronson Reed. Got him back, countered by Gargano. Johnny Gargano's got him down with a double axe handle to Bronson. Bronson Reed now coming back in. Grabs him with right hooks now, jabbing away at him. Bronson Reed knocks him back towards the corner. Bronson grabs Gargano and head first off the turnbuckle, knocking him back. Bronson Reed now comes back in. He's got Gargano again, and Bronson... Launches in. Gargano back to his feet as Bronson Reed sends him off the ropes. Reed goes for him. Gargano punches him in the back now. And Gargano with a kick into the back of the head. 
Johnny Gargano knocking him down now. Going to the legs of Bronson Reed. Gargano's got him down. Johnny Wrestling drops the elbow on Bronson Reed. Knocking him down. Bronson back to his feet. Close line. Gargano getting picked back up to his feet now. Bronson Reed's got a hold of him. Bronson Reed with Johnny Wrestling up. And stun gun. Taking him down. Gargano goes down now. Bronson Reed grabs a hold of him. Raw. Bronson now knocked back by Johnny. Johnny hops the ropes now and Johnny Gargano. Oh! Slingshot spear to Bronson. And Bronson ran into it. Gargano looking to make this one quick. With some sweet chin music to Bronson Reed. Cover. One, two, three. And Gargano, three months ago, he would have struggled his way through that matchup. He would have gotten his ass kicked before being able to pull off a win like that. But Johnny Gargano just handled Bronson Reed in record time. And that is going to do it. He didn't even break a sweat. That's going to do it for the Raw before WrestleMania. Thank you all for watching tonight. Oh! The WWE Champion, Salty is Challenger. This is your man! This is your hero? This is the man who you think defeats me. He couldn't defeat me the first time. He couldn't defeat me the second time. What makes you think he can defeat me the third time? Look at your hero, and remember, this is what happens to those who cross the ring and roll. A brutal assault from the WWE Champion tonight on the road to WrestleMania. That is the final image of Raw for WrestleMania. The final image of Raw for Season 5 as well. Until next time, everybody. I've been Xander, and that was Universe. See you tomorrow in XT.